Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to take up another very very interesting question from algebra which is from Oxford entrance examination. We are going to calculate all real solutions. If I will check how many solutions are there, then x square raised to the power 2, solutions will be 4. Again power 2, solution will be 8. Again power 2, there will be 16 solutions. Now we have to check how many are real. So let's get started with our substitution straight away. I will consider this is a. So let me write here x square minus 1 whole square minus 2 whole square equal to a. For x to be real, a square cannot be negative. So I will write here a must be greater than or equal to 0. Now we will check after this substitution our equation will become a minus 3 whole square equal to 4. Or we can write 4 as 2 square. Now we will take a square root both sides and write a minus 3 equal to plus minus now I will add 3 to both sides. This side also we will add 3. Plus and minus 3 will be over. We will get a equal to 3 plus 2 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we are getting both a values positive. And as per our condition it should be positive only. So we are going to accept both a value a equal to 5 and a equal to 1. So I will write here a equal to 5, we will solve here a equal to 1, this was our a. So I can write here x square minus 1 whole square minus 2 whole square equal to 5. Now we will consider square root both sides. So x square minus 1 whole square minus 2 will be equal to plus minus square root 5. This time we will add 2 to both sides so that plus and minus 2 will be over. We will write x square minus 1 whole square. This will be equal to 2 plus root 5 and 2 minus root 5. Now we know that root 5 is 2.23 approximately. Then 2 minus root 5 will be negative. We have a square in LHS. If a square is negative, we are going to get complex solutions. So we will cancel 2 minus root 5 as we are looking for real solutions only. So we will accept 2 plus root 5. We will write here x square minus 1 whole square is equal to 2 plus root 5. Again we will consider square root both sides. So x square minus 1 this will be equal to plus minus square root of 2 plus square root of 5. Now I will add 1 to both sides. So plus 1 plus 1 this time plus and minus 1 will get over. So I will write here itself x square equal to 1 plus minus square root of 2 plus square root 5. So I can write x square equal to 1 plus square root of 2 plus root 5. and 1 minus a square root of 2 plus root 5. Now 2 plus root 5 will be 4.23 approximately. So a square root value will be greater than 2. So this value will be negative. Left hand side we have x square. For real x, a square cannot be negative. Once a square is negative, 
that means complex solution is about to come so we will reject this one we are going to accept this one so i will write x square is equal to 1 let me write here 1 plus the square root of 2 plus root 5 this is the value of x square which is accepted value as this is positive now we will consider square root once again we will be getting our first real solutions as plus minus square root of 1 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 5. Now we will consider our second equation. Let me write our equation. Equation was a equal to 1. Now we have to solve x square minus 1 whole square minus 2 whole square is equal to 1. We will consider square root both sides and we will write x square minus 1 whole square minus 2 will be equal to plus minus 1. Now we will add 2 to both sides. So we will cancel plus and minus 2. We will write x square minus 1 whole square. This will be equal to 2 plus 1, 3, 2 minus 1, 1. Now we have to solve both the equations. If I will write here, x square minus 1 whole square, this is equal to 3. Then we will solve x square minus 1 whole square equal to 1. So for first equation, we will consider square root both sides. We will write x square minus 1 will be equal to plus minus square root 3. We will add 1 to both sides. Plus 1 and minus 1 will get over from LHS. x square will be equal to 1 plus root 3 and 1 minus root 3. Now root 3 is 1.732. So, this quantity will be negative. A square is negative. We will get complex solutions. So, rejected. So, we will accept x square is equal to 1 plus root 3. Now, we will take a square root both sides. We will get two real solutions plus minus a square root of 1 plus root 3. So, in total so far we have 4 solutions, 2 plus 2. Now, we have to solve this equation. x square minus 1 whole square is equal to 1. x square minus 1 whole square is equal to 1. We will take square root both sides. x square minus 1, this will be equal to plus minus 1. So, I can add 1 to both sides we will get x square in the LHS. In RHS, we will write 1 plus 1 and 1 minus 1. So, I can write x square will be equal to 2 and 0. Now, I will write here x square is equal to 2. So, we will get two real solutions plus minus square root 2. So, in total we have six solutions now. Now we will solve x square is equal to 0. So we will get 0 with multiplicity 2 or we can write 0 comma 0. So 6 plus 2 overall 8 real solutions. Let me write all the solutions here. x equal to I will write plus minus a square root of 1 plus a square root of 2 plus root 5. This was our first two real solutions. Then we calculated plus minus a square root of 1 plus a square root of 3. Then we calculated plus minus a square root 2. Then we have 0 and 0. So overall, 8 solutions are real. are real.
i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye